Hello everyone and welcome to the Data Analytics channel. Today we will solve a very practical business problem. We will forecast the sales in a scenario that has both a seasonality and a trend. And for this we will use the Excel statistical package, namely the regression model. I recommend before going to more advanced tools like Python and R to have a solid foundation in Excel statistical package. Our scenario is uh, very simple. We have the sales for three years and in this graph we see that the sales have uh, seasonality but also a trend, an upward trend each year. So, what we have to do is to predict the sales for the next year, from January 18 to December 18. For this, we will use the regression model with the dummy variables for each month. What I want to say is that some things maybe will not be very clear to you in this tutorial. Please check them online because I don't want to make this tutorial very long. So, uh, for your development in analytics, you will need to go online and check, for example, what is the dummy variable model, okay? Uh, maybe what is the regression model, okay? We have here the equation of the regression model, okay? So, we start building the model. I have added here the month column and now we have to create the dummy variables. First, we will create a period column. Okay, so each period going to December 18. And then the dummy variables, we select only 11 months this is the model, uh, one uh, of the season from 12 seasons, one is excluded. Uh, and for example, if you have on quarterly basis, you only select three quarters for the dummy variables model. Okay, so we transpose them. And then what we do, we want to, if this equal this, we put one, otherwise zero. And now, if we want to remain constant the column, we freeze B. And here we have to have constant the row, we freeze one. Okay. So we go like this and like this. And you see we only have one at the intersection of this and this. Perfect. We are now ready to go to the regression model. We have to go to data and here we have the tab data analysis. If you don't have it here, you have to go to file, options, add-ins, Excel add-ins and you select the data analysis tool pack. Okay. I have it here already. So, I will choose regression okay and now y range is the sales okay and the uh, input x range is this okay we have the labels the name of the columns and we want uh, to be in a new worksheet. We select the residual. Let's name the new sheet regression output and we click OK. Perfect. We have the regression model. So, 
what do we have here? We see that adjusted air square is 95%, which is uh, a very good estimation. It covers 95% of the situations. The significance is very, very low, which is very good. Okay, the p-value is uh, below 0 0.05. And uh, we have here the coefficients. The p-value is significant for all, except for the month of March and October, which is over 0 0.05. Again, this uh, p-value significance Please check it online if it is not very clear to you. These are very important statistical concepts and you need to have the basis to understand it. So, we now are ready to, to have the, the estimation. Okay, here we have the predicted sales. Okay, we have the, uh, we can copy them. And you see, here is the difference between our prediction and the real sales. Okay. And these are the residuals. The estimation uh, is uh, quite good. And this shows that we will also have a very good estimation f starting from uh, January 18. So, now we will create the regression model. Practically, we have to recreate this equation. Okay? So, what we do, we will enter here a column of forecast. So, you will see that with the formula, with this formula, we will recreate these values that Excel calculated automatically in the regression uh, model. So, how, how we do it? The equation is like this. First is the intercept, so we have plus this, the intercept, plus and now we have to multiply each coefficient from here, starting with time and then the 11 months, with the values from here. Uh, for this, we have a matrix multiplication. So we will use the mmult formula in Excel, which is a matrix mu multiplication. And what it, it is doing, it multiplies the values from here, okay, with the values from here, okay. And we will have to freeze here. Okay. So you see, we have the same value that Excel calculated for us. And now we go. Sorry, I have to, I have to see why we don't have these um, values correct. Ah, okay, we have to freeze also the, the intercept. Okay, this was the problem. So now you see, we have the same values. And now, what we do, we just continue, okay, with the formula and now we have the 
we have the forecast and very quickly we will visualize it insert recommended charts all charts templates okay perfect and now we see that in orange is our forecast in blue is the sales the real sales we we see that our forecast is very good it follows very correctly the sales the real sales and the forecast is very correctly done so in short this is the dummy variables model with seasonality and trend you can use it for different uh, seasonality for example you can use it for uh, quarters or you can use it for weeks for example or for days the system is the same thank you very much for watching this video if you have liked it please subscribe and give it a like